that leather and I'll just wait. What do you think? Put the heaters in too. I'm okay, yeah. on this and I'll front and back. The heaters actually come up around a little bit here. Wow. So you get the full effect. And they, they come basically all the way to theirs. We uh, went ahead and re reinforced the foam on the driver's side here for you because oh, I was already thanks, starting guys. to see a little thanks. bit. So, you know, <laughs> got the new pocket in there and everything. All leather. Wow. Yep. Stitching looks awesome. And then, of course, the silver stitching French seams. To match the rest of it. We got, like I said, two hides were just barely, and if you notice that inside the pocket it's split into three pieces, it's like French seam, you know, I mean, with leather seats you'll always see a lot more pieces, right. you know, and this seat you couldn't break up too much, you know, these big pieces out of a hide, man, it's, it's a lot. And the headrest, even, I didn't think about it, but the five headrests, those can't, those got to be pretty good areas of the hide, you know, not just the, the edges, so. You know, it's funny, because I can tell just with this, Seat sitting in the car like one day probably getting warm or you know cooled or worn or whatever compared to like the headrest that I just installed you know it just kind of they settle the leather sort of expands back or something went with the really really nice materials which help it look that much better you know the silver stitching is more me and the time consuming and stuff but that really makes it look you know it's da it's daring dude it's to do the white work. the white stitching on black like that it's it's pretty ballsy you know. For for the for the upholster, yeah, just the terms. And on a single needle machine, for for a manufacturer that makes seat covers, yeah. they typically have double needle machines, mm -hmm. so they can do both these in one. So even if they get off a little bit, the lines are still parallel. Mm -hmm. Whereas I'm sewing that two seat, you know, I mean, your typical upholstery machine. Yeah, yeah. If you screw up, you got holes, right? Oh yeah. There's no getting around it. <laughs> so. Uh, a few months back, we had a Porsche Cayenne at the shop, and I really liked the way Porsche used the, the suede headliner and the leather seats and that, so Drew and I headed over to the dealership to take a look at a couple so we could utilize the styles on the box. See how they got the suede headliner, and they've got it on, they the, did on the C They pillars. did on the A, B, and C pillars? Yeah. I totally want to do that. I was thinking on the side panels in the trunk, I might have um, Scott raise, you know, the, the crazy like a Fox logo into the back panel, and then, and then wrap the vinyl around it. On the vinyl, like, yeah. like you did? Okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. It does also have like a little center console. No problem. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just wrap that too. Yep, that adds a okay. luxury look to it. Yeah, no, exactly. That's that's like totally what I'm going okay. for. That interior, I just want it to be you know plushed out, the right. max. Do you think in like a rabbit GTI seat or something? That type of yeah, like, like a sports. Rogers. Yeah, we'll we'll use a seat like that because okay. uh, what I liked about you know I I like my rabbit seats and Tolliver's rabbit seats. But man, you're relying on the steering wheel to hold you still. I agree. And I totally, with the Fox, I want to drive the Fox more. So I want the seats to be more supportive. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I definitely, I'm going to log a lot, a lot of miles in the Fox. Okay. Okay. So I want, to, I want to have a seat that's definitely doing this job. We use the bases from the Fox, though. And then we, the seat will actually sit, go into the frame. That, that's the thing. We'll use the, the sliders. They're in integrated the on rather yeah. than the seats. Yeah. We'll use the bottom half of the frame from the A, from the, from the B1. From the B1. And the, the bolstering stuff slides on there. The back seat in the car is just so plain Jane. I mean, it's extremely, like... On that part there? On the Fox. Right. It's so basic that I asked about getting a seat that maybe had integrated headrests. And there was, like, uh, the Audi 4000 or something along those lines. Sure. It had, had a seat with integrated baby headrests. And I'd like to, I'd like to use that. Trip to the wrecking yard or two. Yeah. To find you some 4000s. Yeah. I would think. Yeah, there's plenty of those things there. Yeah. So the door panels, will be... you want to do lower carpet? Yeah, let's do lower carpet. Okay. You know what I really want to do on the car? And like, this is all because of that Porsche Cayenne thing. Mm -hmm. But I want to. Um, I really like to do brushed aluminum now, man. It's like after having that Cayenne at the shop and seeing that brushed aluminum, the way it looks on the colors is awesome. This is pretty close to the color. Okay. Too. Right. I want to have that car done, like done, done, at least a week before new dimensions. And part of that will definitely be the interior to put okay. the rest of it together. So you're not going to need these at all, huh? You're pretty confident? No. Yeah. I can't make a pattern off of these. Okay. i, I got to we'll, make it right we'll off the car. Okay. So. We'll we'll That's the case. We'll we'll jump. Jump. I just... Oh, man. I wonder... Uh... I'll post them on the fucking Fox list. And see. Someone's going to want those. Somebody you you want threw them. away you know, a flawless oh, Fox okay. carpet kit. I got sand in my eyes. As soon as the car is back here at the shop, I want to put the headliner in.
Okay. Um, so we get the glass in. Okay. So that really helps get a project together, man. The longer a car sits around, no windows, the longer it takes me to put it back together. Sure, because it looks so. It's no windows and wheels. No windows and wheels. The two biggest things. You put wheels in windows in a car, it really helps motivate you sure. to put it back together. Sure. Sure. Totally. Horsehair. All right. That's a big old sunroof. It's a big ass sunroof. 18 inches. Oh. Okay. Yeah, when I put out the APP to get a replacement sunroof panel, they're like, yeah, it's only 15 inches. I'm like, man, that thing's 18 by 35 inches. And I would like to use those headrests as long as they fit the basic contours of the seats because they're kind of old looking. It'd be kind of cool to put those on the seats as long as they don't just like, wow, that looks really out of place. Mm, I guess I'd have to see it with it. Oh, kind hold of, on. It's kind of bulky looking. Hold on to it. Do the headrest last. And let me like, let me make the okay. final call on it. Primer first, yellow, and then I'll go over it with the gray primer. Put four or five good coats on it. So we'll walk it and then we'll it again. And then see what we paint it.
gasket, give it a wash job and clean off the compound and it's all, all ready to go. So it turned out a little a little better than when it came in. With the timeline we were dealing with on the Cabrio, rather than try and do trial and error on the intercooler fitment, we went ahead and loaded the Cabrio up and took it over to Max Radiator so they could go ahead and fit the intercoolers there in-house. This was awesome because it actually yielded us an extra three inches on each intercooler, which gave us a better core than we were planning on using to begin with. Okay, there it is. The intercooler has really turned out awesome. Now we can get the car back to the shop and start it up.